My teacher is a monster by Peter Brown. Bobby had a big problem at school. Her name was Miss Kirby. Robert! Move it or lose it! Miss Kirby stomped. Settle down! Miss Kirby roared. No recess for children who throw paper airplanes in class. Miss Kirby was a monster. Bobby spent his free time in the park trying to forget his teacher problems. But one Saturday morning, on the way to his favorite spot, Bobby found a terrible surprise. Bobby wanted to run. He wanted to hide. But he knew that would only make things worse. Robert, you don't need to raise your hand out here. What were you going to say? I was going to say, hello, Miss Kirby. Hello, Robert. I like your enormous hat, Miss Kirby. Thank you, Robert. Miss Kirby, it's really strange seeing you outside of school. I agree. There was an awkward silence, and then a gust of wind changed everything. That's my favorite hat! My dear old granny gave it to me. Don't let it get away. Got it! Oh, Bobby, you are my hero. I mean, that was very good of you, Robert. You're welcome, Miss Kirby. Those ducks sure do like you. They know I enjoy quacking with them. Quack, 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 quack. When they were all quacked out, Bobby had an idea. You should see my favorite spot in the park. Be careful. Yes, Miss Kirby. This is lovely. And then Miss Kirby had an idea. Bobby tossed his paper airplane into the sky and it flew and it flew and it flew. I think that was the single greatest paper airplane in flight history. I think you're right. By lunchtime, Bobby and Miss Kirby were happy they had bumped into each other. But they were ready to say goodbye. See you Monday, Bobby. Bye, Miss Kirby. Coming through. Back at school, Miss Kirby still stomped. And then the bear said, Roar! Miss Kirby still roared. Great job, Bobby. But was Miss Kirby still a monster? Robert! The end. <laughs>